We've coined this term called the vital fives uh, based on uh, certain um, vitals that have been flagged up in the NHS uh, as a generic healthcare uh, system. We believe very strongly that Parkinson's care, in the modern care of Parkinson's, needs to be personalized and holistic. It's not just about fiddling around with tablets and looking at motor function. So what we've said are some absolutely vital part of a patient's life related to Parkinson's are very important and we called it vital fives. And these are the motor function, of course, uh, which should be discussed and managed, but non-motor function, which now can be very easily now graded by using the non-motor questionnaire, take patients complete it, literally takes a few minutes to complete, but also absolutely to make sure that people have addressed the bone health because osteoporosis is very common in Parkinson. If you don't address the bone health, people might fall and fracture themselves. That leads to hospitalization. So bone health is one of the vitals. Vision is crucial to the lives because poor vision leads to falls. Poor vision can lead to uh, accidents if somebody's driving. And we know vision is affected at Parkinson's from the very early stage. People have color vision issues. People have double vision. People have difficulty focusing on reading. So these things need to be addressed. Dry eyes, eyes can be very dry, you need eye drops. So vision being another part of the vital. And then finally, the other piece of the vital are comorbidity, co-medications, like you know, if you're taking anti-diabetic drug, if you're taking drugs with dopamine agonists, what happens to hallucination, psychosis, impulse control disorder, etc. So really, those are the key vitals, but also amongst that, we mustn't forget the gut because the gut is a very important conduit now. We believe it could be associated with Parkinson's pathogenesis, the so-called body first hypothesis. So simple things on the gut, like make sure there's, you manage the dribbling of saliva, you manage swallowing issues, you manage speech, and, more, and also the gut microbiota, because that's abnormal. So sometimes using a suitable probiotic might help with the gut health as well. That, has an effect on constipation, which is another massive area of concern in Parkinson. So if you address these issues, the so-called vitals, you will make sure you're not just treating the motor function, but treating the patient as a whole. I think it's really important that a modern care of Parkinson is personalized. One size doesn't fit all. So while we have guidelines, they're excellent. We must personalize treatment, like for instance, 30% of Parkinson patients may not have a tremor yet they also have Parkinson's. We now know there are subtypes within Parkinson's. Some might have more cognitive issues, some might have more pain, some might have more sleep issues. Identify that, address those, but in addition, don't forget gut, vision, and oral health as well. I didn't speak about oral health. So gut, vision, oral health, and bone health.